It opens the door of Sarah Hawkins' office. It was concealed. I gotta keep an eye out for that icon in the bottom left corner. It's a little subtle. It flashes in and out, which makes it a little easier to spot, but there's no sound cue for it, be you being in the area of hidden objects, and I could see myself missing that. Maybe I already have. What will her room reveal about her? I like how I didn't use the, uh... I didn't actually use the, uh... The... Key to open this door. It's like, oh, it's the key to her door, and then I just walked in because it was unlocked. Hmm. Sarah Hawkins' sketches look more like a gallery of horrors than anatomical studies. Do they represent what haunts her nights? Lots of tentacles and skeletons. Ooh, occultism. Just 5%, but it's a little bit. Just a little bit. Why does it say that I have this much many CP until I can level up occultism if, if I can't do that? Because it's not a feature. Seems like a weird inclusion to me. So finding that gave me a bit of occultism. Cool. My first little point. That's my insight rating. The more I increase that, the more I lose my mind and I'm doomed. Congrats, me. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. They act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. Of that, I know something. Uh... You want to tell us something, or is it somebody else? Dover's powder? You mean like the cliffs of Do Dover? Probably not, that's just chalk. A barbiturate prescription from a certain Dr. Fuller. Context. Dr. Thomas Fuller, Riverside Institute, Dockwater, Massachusetts. Date, July 21st, 1924. 75 milligrams of amobarbitual sodium to be taken every four to six hours as required. If attacks become too violent, add 25 milligrams of phenobarbital uh, up to three times a day. Do not consume alcohol or any other medication during the period of treatment. Dr. Thomas Fuller, take to Darkwater General Store. That's a massive dose. Was Sarah violent? The painting of the front room. Wow, this this torch does not have... Slasher does not have range. Also, I'm really aware of the fact that that's like a giant-ass wardrobe, like the type you hide in in a horror game, and I'm noticing how little range we have with this light, and I'm like, oh boy. Get ready to hide from a monster. Come on. This padlock is too complicated for me. It's uh, no use. The padlock won't give. Damn it. Literally my best stat. It's almost maxed out and I can't open the the lock picking. Alright. Why do we even, huh? This is where the seemingly claw marks go? Yeah. So the evidence of the person that left the burning room goes up there. Should probably try everywhere else if I can. Oh, that's the, what the key was for. Did not realize. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Was he was she interested in the occult? I don't know. Maybe the giant occult circle might indicate. If the creature is not yet anchored in our dimension, an expulsion ritual might work. As long as the person performing it makes sure that he integrates the Elder Sign among the glyphs that make up the ceremonial circle. Be careful though, because the works that describe the creation of such circles are not all of proven reliability. Extract from the Malleus Bisterium Abigail G. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. 
my very dear Sarah, ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you to send me some new paintings. The last one, so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have been, are selling at a premium price. Your percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend, who is the first to recognize your genius and display it to the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian L. What if you're, what if you're spreading her brain infection and they're all gonna go crazy? What if her ideas need to be contained? This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Damn. Yeah, the page two in particular are some really not bad commission rates for, like, some real-life stuff. Nowadays. Like, post-inflation. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. She was making crazy money for that, for this era. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Fate brought us together, and fate and forever will bind us. This, every time it says clue memorized, sweet nothings. A hell of a memory. He memorizes every single thing I encounter every time. Was this the door that I. The door is blocked on the other side. So that was the padlock door. I just opened it from the other side with the key. So that explained why I didn't use the key on the previous door. It was confusing because the other one was also her room. So she has two rooms. So me being like. Surprised that it let me in after claiming I found the key to her door. Makes some sense. Damn. Took a while to bring it back that time. Yeah, I look forward to that. Ah, my light mechanic. Bradley? Is that you? Oh boy. Oh, that was the... that was the... Yeah. There's gonna be a monster, isn't there? There's like the claw marks on the walls. There's like wardrobes I can probably stealth inside of. There's this damn torch that like goes... Uh, and goes away every now and then. We found everything in here. Oh boy. They're starting to do spooky noises. Is anyone there? Not cultist, man! Stop. How dare you! Oh, I have the lamp. Hey, that's better than my little torch. How dare you, sir! Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. Of course. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. He's also wearing a mask. What's the... Oh, is that a time limit? Oh, shit. I better hurry up. Uh. 
Uh, there's a time limit counting down. Bradley, help me better. I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? Where did he go? They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Why are these letters here? And not with Sarah Hawkins' belongings. These letters have been opened, but visibly have not left Charles Hawkins' office. They are tied together carefully, not a braid. Why did Hawkins intercept his wife's mail? Oil refilled. Oh, my lamp runs out. Oh, that's not a time limit. That's how much... It looks like an old seaway map. I thought I had a time limit. That's how much... How long my oil is going to last in my... In my lamp. Okay. That's probably from his journeys, right? Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. I thought I was in a hurry to find him before that ran out, but no, this is my lamp icon. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. In this photo, Charles Hawkins, Captain Fitzroy are posing with a third man. They seem close. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. Could they be unnaturally... Could they be unnaturally old? It was supposed to be his father, right? That... Yeah, his father was... Uh, flew the Scylla. Not flew. Uh, piloted the Scylla. And supposed to look like him. Hmm. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. It looks like a really bad map of dark water. <laughs> Sketchy as all hell. Seems like this came from a log. Oh, uh, yep. It's a big one. Monday 24th, May 1847. Coordinates. Dark, uh, Darkwater Island. We sailed north all morning. Captain Hamilton is confident. He says that we'll beat the Orpheus this season. May God be merciful. Sunday. Uh, six days later, actually. I preferred it when the whales disappeared without trace. With these carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. What is eating these huge beasts? I told Hamilton that it was a bad omen. He doesn't care. Tuesday, 1st of June. We dropped anchor near a village. The inhabitants say that the waters are red with the blood of sacred beasts, and to follow them is to defy the gods. I told them that I only feared God Almighty, but in the loneliness of the hold, I'm scared. Friday, 4th of June. We have sighted a huge whale in the distance. Its size seems to be beyond anything known to man. It sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. Wednesday, 23rd of June. We've caught it. It's the most grotesque whale I've ever laid eyes upon. It will go into the memory as the biggest catch ever. Men have died, but we have gained glory. This day will be celebrated for years to come. Tuesday, the 29th of June. Dark water. We have beaten the Orpheus. We turned with empty holds. The Cilia and the Hamilton are only memories. So there we go, that's them, that's the big catch. That's the indication of that. The brackets highlight, that's the big moment too. There must be a link with the seaway map. Yeah, it's an indication of all the locations. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Yep. Looks like the navigation. Is it the Bermuda's paths Triangle? The I don't remember where that's supposed to be. They went all over the place with that trip, though. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Yeah, almost, right? Oh, do you move this it? This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Oh, do I have to turn it to those uh, coordinates? Huh. 
There must be a link with the seaway map. 33 north, 53 west. Most likely. But is there more? Oh, there's a secret. This Dr. Fuller. Was he Sarah Hawkins' therapist? Wow. This guy writes an obnoxiously slanted, obnoxiously tiny cursive and then puts giant spaces between each line. Charles, I understand your worries, but I assure you that Sarah is in good hands here at Riverside Institute. It goes without saying that her state requires very specific care and a high level of attention. Her full potential will only be able to express itself if she is placed in a secure environment and secured by qualified staff. The decision is yours, of course, but it seems I seem to understand that you are running out of time. Your friend, Thomas Fuller. That was the last clue. Okay, that's what I was missing. Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater's shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. There must be a link with the seaway map. 33 north, 53 west. Let's see. Right here? Yep. Looks like it worked. Oh boy. Well done, Pierce. This can't go well, right? Any more points for me? Max this thing out? Whoa, four points available. Oh yeah, I've done it. What do I want to do next? Going further down these routes is tempting. Just maximize my ability to investigate and everything. Let's just get the process started, I guess. At those points were stacking up in the background. What could go wrong, right? Oh, there we go. Chapter 4. Under the Hawkins Mansion. Inside the Hawkins Mansion, the scene of the fire revealed its secrets. Pierce and Officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, had undertaken to search the place, looking for proof, when a hooded man leapt into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting. Detective and police officer set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Pierce and Bradley enter the tunnel under the mansion. Where nothing bad secret will happen. Passage. Under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. Look, someone's been here recently. Oh so yeah, it's it. creepy down here. Oh, it's plenty creepy down here. What is that? It's also very easy for this guy to get very far away from us. He's just to run a lot. Ugh. Eyeball tentacles on a metal plate or something? No want. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Ah, there's the faceless people. So I said the game represents cultists. Are you implying that they look like that, or that they, that's just what an anonymous person looks like in this game? Because I think that's what that's supposed to be. But he does fully- he doesn't imagine them having faces, but he imagines a full cult costume without any indication of what they would look like. Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. 
Evidently, it was a book, plus some other stuff. What is this mask supposed to represent? I wasn't sure it was supposed to be a mask, honestly. That's unnerving. And pokey. There's a rubble down here, and what's this? This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Sarah Hawkins. Was she hiding from someone? Unmistakably from a dress, huh? Interesting. So she probably got caught. Ran away. As they ran away as uh, they identified her, but then she got caught on that when she was trying to get away. Whoever was sitting here could have seen Sarah Hawkins. Could this be related to her death? Did they then get in a big fight and, and burn? Or did, the, did those two go upstairs and argue and then one of these guys threw a lantern into the room and killed them? Or one of them. That's kind of a big deal. Can I come on? This symbol. What does it mean? A series of studies on an unknown symbol. That's the same symbol that was on the on the cultist's chest, but we we, we shouldn't know that. He just somehow knows that. Yeah. Only one point away from getting some bonus occultism experience. That's progressing quickly, actually. A disfigured saint. What does it mean? Oh, that's a Cthulhu face. Hugging a baby. A Cthulhu face saint hugging a baby. That's a visual. We're not going to check the giant book that's probably the cult manifesto. We're just going to walk right past that, huh? He's just super not interested in that, huh? Don't fall in. I'll be lonely. I don't want to be lonely. The other light source just makes me nervous with how it's ticking down all the time, so I'll use... The infinite one, given the chance, for a while. That goes down to water, this goes to a lot probably a locked gate. Yeah. Of course. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's gotta be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. No. No splitting up. No splitting. What do you mean you can't squeeze down there? It's a staircase. What the fuck? This is a regular ass staircase. Do you just mean the water down here? You couldn't even see what was down here. Ah, he didn't want to go in the deep water. Uh, oh, this is just begging for a jump scare. Damn it. Alright, what's it gonna be? I can't wait. Starting to look a lot like that prologue, huh? Remember your nightmares? Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. Yep, those are the same tentacly rock pillars from the dream. Does he remember that at all? Sad way to go. 
an old diary. Diary from a Pastor's Wife, Volume 2. In this volume, there is mention of the beliefs of the Lost Tribe. They worshipped an entity that spoke to them in their sleep. The whole tribe seemingly disappeared in a mass sacrifice to the glory of their deity. Is that going to increase my... Occultism? Come on. Oh. Oh, maybe this. These paintings must be several centuries old. Concern. That's like the drawing that sh that she made. That was the painting that my character found distressing. Cool. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. Nope. <laughs> nope, it's real. Hey. Uh, the Anagmara fault. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, they're starting to make weird sound effects in the background. They're like, boom. Boom. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? No, honey, it's just ketchup. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. Yeah, they're making mind-bendy, sci-fi-ish droning sounds. Oh boy, something you can't return from when you go down it. What a good idea. Look, someone's been down here. I better trap myself. Oh, thank you for that, uh, that CP. I'm just gonna plop that right in here, and... Oh, it's not ready yet. Two more. We're almost there. What do we got here? We have all the characters. Places. Tunnels under the Hawkins Mansion. Who would have guessed the Hawkins Mansion was hiding such a big and intricate tunnels underneath? It seems to be... The hideout of a cult of some kind. I can't believe Sarah and Simon lived right above such danger without knowing anything. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I can't believe that. Almost like that's not how it went. Disappeared tribe. A tribe of men, worshippers of the sea and its benefits, landed on the shores of an island surrounded by dark waters. They, there were discovered... Uh, they were discovered by the creature, some called the Devourer of Whales. For years, the creature hunted them down into their dreams, until their weakened minds surrendered. Following the creature's orders, they sunk into the dark waters surrounding the island and never came back. Extract from the Malleus Bestarium by Abigail G. Cultist symbol. It's drawn on sheets of paper, hidden in a safe. Itself hidden in a tunnel under the mansion. The symbol is repeated on the paper, its form becoming more distinct with each attempt. I do not know what, what, uh, what Charles Hawkins tried to represent with the symbol, but one thing is sure, it was important in his eyes. Well, I got my lamp now. Got my hurricane lamp just in time to go into the shitty underground area where I'll have to use it, unfortunately. These just don't show up as used when they should. Yeah, these got, this got picked up directly into my inventory. Small polished stones decorated with Celtic runes. Probably used for divination rituals. They are mostly found in Europe. Those are clues so far. So chapter 3, The Last Supper. Since the fire in the Hawkins Mansion, the dining room has remained intact. The settings allow the places occupied by the family members to be determined. Visibly, etiquette was respected, even in private. Charles Hawkins sat at the head of the table while, with wife and son on either side. They knocked, the knocked over chair could be due to something that happened after the fire, or it could confirm the theory of a domestic argument. Clearly, the roast was untouched in certain places. 
the meat mysteriously preserved since it seems to have been the subject of dispute between the Hawkins couple. Yeah, because I can't imagine why there'd be dispute on why to eat the nightmare monstrosity meatloaf. The underground antechamber. The strange antechamber hidden in the entrance of the network of caves raises new questions. The presence of a table and three chairs leads to the belief that Charles Hawkins used the place for meetings in small groups. The existence of objects with esoteric connotations is more worrying since they lead to the impression that we may be in the presence of a cult. Moreover, the torn fabric revealing Sarah Hawkins' presence in the place does raise questions. Was she in danger because she discovered these tunnels? Maybe. She so heavily framed... They so heavily frame him like maybe an abuser or an aggressive person and her like a victim. I, I almost wonder if they're going to invert it and be like, and like, and have a, sur or a surprise reveal where like all the evidence we've seen so far is recontextualized because it actually means the opposite. She tore her dress on that nail while chasing her, her husband and stuff like that. Never know. Mm -hmm.